Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can perform browser in the browser attack. Before that, if you don't know about what browser in the browser attack is, then I highly recommend you to check out this uh, site, which is briefpractical.tech, so that you can learn more about this browser in the browser attack and other cyber security or web development or other how to contents that you want. So let's get started for this video. And the first thing that you need to, need, you need to do is that you have to go to HTTPS bpractical.tech and there you have to click on this browser in the browser attack tutorial and after that you have to just go all the way to the bottom and you have to click over here click here and it will redirect you to the download file and you just, you just have to download this particular file Let me download it Let me save this file and as you can see the file is downloaded let's try to extract this particular file extract here and and we are good and you have to just open this file and now before uh, doing anything we have to just download few softwares few tools so let me show you what they are so the first tool that you need to download is node.js for that you have to type something like this sudo apt install node.js and you have to provide your root password obviously and as you can see uh, i have already installed the newest version of node.js so nothing bad over here and after that you have to also install some uh, libraries through npm so you just have need to install npm through kali linux which you can do by typing sudo apt install npm and hit enter and as you can see it is also already installed in my computer so we have nothing to worry about and now let's finally we can start our attack so for that we have to just open a terminal over here in this particular folder and uh, Let's just wait for a few seconds and as you can see we got terminal and now we have to type something like this node space web dot js hit enter and as you can see the server has started now what we need to do is let me close this one and let us try to open our local host over here and as you can see this is the page and in the page you can see there is a sign in with microsoft uh, button right and if you hover over it then you can see in the bottom we got https colon microsoft.com which means that this this uh, functionality should redirect us to microsoft.com which is a legitimate website of microsoft right if you click, if you click here we got a pop-up in which it is asking to provide email address and password so that we can log in so as you can see the domain name is microsoft.com slash auth slash tiny so there's nothing suspicious going on here and now if i type my email id let's say be practical practical at the rate tech.com let us provide any password like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero let's try to click on login so nothing going on over here but if you check our terminal then you can see we successfully captured the email address and the password of the particular victim so as you can see it is almost impossible for any user to identify the difference difference between this website and the original website as you can see the victim will think that this okay this website is coming from a legitimate url which is microsoft.com so it will be obvious for an attacker uh, for a victim to supply their credential over here right so i hope you understand how we can perform a browser in the browser attack through Kali Linux and so this tool which is given here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please like this video and subscribe to our, to our channel so that you can get more and more videos related to this and thanks for watching. 
So I hope you understand how we can perform browser in the browser attack practically. So if you like this video, then I recommend you to please subscribe to our channel. That's it. Thanks for watching.